Electrical measurements of brain activity using implanted electrodes show repetitive patterns associated with the firings of neurons nearby. These signals are shown in this slide where we have oscillations in abnormal patient and then uh, oscillations in a patient with Parkinson's disease. Clearly, the signals associated with Parkinson's disease are different. What we say in the field is that they're more picky. For two decades now, we have been able to overcome the effects of abnormal rhythms in the brain by applying pulses of electricity to specific regions of the brain. And if we do it just right, we can make a life-changing difference between debilitating symptoms like tremors and muscle rigidity and no symptoms at all. The main question is, does this technique generalize? And the answer is yes, maybe. These tuning techniques may be applied to other important circuits in the brain. We're now leveraging them to develop new therapies for treating severe depression, for reducing anxiety, and for stopping epileptic seizures in their tracks. At some point, we will be able to even enhance our ability to learn. As these techniques become less invasive, there will be opportunities for humans to tune their brains. If we did that, though, we would still be ourselves. Understandably, some of us are concerned so we could change what it means to be human. At the same time, there are optimists that are looking forward to change humanity in a new stage in our evolution.